90 Day Fianza, Happily Ever After. Star Michael L. Sammies enjoying the success of his GoFundM, but was a $25,000 fundraiser something he really needed. Michael has always been one of my favorite cast members since his before the 90 Day Season 2 debut. His happy-go-lucky nature and ability to find the silver lining in the toughest of situations made him unique and different from the rest of the cast, especially his partner. Angela Deem didn't see the positive in any situation. Even if she saw Michael smile, she might have felt it was him conspiring against her. It was Angela's overly suspicious nature that wrecked her relationship with Michael. She didn't trust him even after he proved he was faithful after an unfortunate cheating incident. Angela surrounded herself with friends and family who filled her ears with more questions about Michael. She was under the assumption that Nigerian men were scammers. Why she still chose to be with Michael, marry him, and get him to the U.S. is still a mystery. Now that Michael has left her, Angela wants him to face the consequences. However, Michael is 10 steps ahead of Angela and always has been. I was randomly scrolling through Instagram when I came across a post where Michael told fans that he would really use their help. Michael wrote that he was facing some unexpected legal expenses and added that any support would mean the world to him. Michael reached out to his supporters to tell them how their being able to donate would be greatly appreciated. The link in his bio revealed that Michael needed $50,000. The attached photo looked like it was clicked just for the fundraiser with Michael wearing a t-shirt that said, God got me. I wondered if Michael was hacked since he'd never done something like this before. In the 90-day fiancé universe, fundraisers were something that got somewhat of a bad reputation, especially with cast members such as Mary Damasue and Brandon DiNuccio asking fans to send them money for a medical condition that Mary didn't even have. Mary and Brandon had spent the money when fans figured out they were running a scam. Meanwhile, even fan favorite David Dangerfield was criticized when he asked fans for $150,000 to buy a new house for himself and Sheila Mangabat. What also struck me, and a few others in Michael's comments, as odd was that the fundraiser was being organized by someone else. Michael later went live on Instagram to confirm that a person from his media team was helping him organize it. Michael started receiving support from fans all over the world. Everyone wanted to help Michael out as it meant that they were also standing up against Angela the bully. Was Michael taking advantage of the anger fans half towards Angela? Since the fundraiser was shared immediately after Angela's investigator proved Michael wasn't a scammer, in the GoFundMe description, Michael shared more details about why he needed the money. Interestingly, the amount had now been reduced to $25,000 from $50,000. Michael explained how he had to seek legal advice due to the recent legal filings for an annulment by Angela. He said he had found a lawyer, but that the fees were expensive. Michael said that the money would be used to cover all legal expenses in connection with the annulment and any other legal matters he may have to deal with because of the annulment filing. In his fundraiser description, Michael said that since there were time restraints and deadlines, seeking pro bono help wasn't fitting in the circumstances. Considering $25,000 may have been the ballpark figure that his lawyer may have suggested when he sought legal advice, Michael not stopping the fundraiser, even after it had surpassed almost double its goal, seems odd. One of Michael's followers, Blufa73, suggested that Michael should be posting his legal bills in the GoFundM to ensure that those donating the money know where it is going. Michael has not acknowledged their humble request. Meanwhile, Angela has been making fun of Michael for starting a fundraiser. Angela is jealous of Michael's success. She didn't know that so many 90 Day Fiancé viewers called themselves Teamical after all her attempts to prove he was a liar and a cheater. 
Angela is angry, and her bitter TikToks have been calling out fans who have given Michael money. Does it make sense when Angela asks her followers, via Shibuti, to wake up because there are people out there who want to see their sick kids, sick mom, or veterans out there who need money Michael might be able to get money through other means instead of asking fans for help. It was Michael's decision to come to the U.S. when he knew how Angela had abused him, even in a long-distance marriage. Besides, Michael could have some money saved up from what Angela had been sending him for all these years. He also had a piggy bank, account where he was saving for a rainy day. Michael wants the money so he can fight Angela in court and continue living in the U.S. by claiming he was never a fraud and that their marriage was legal. Michael wishes to prove that their marriage is valid. He could ask for a divorce instead of an annulment so that he doesn't have to fear getting deported, according to Angela's wishes. However, with Angela no longer being a part of his life, Michael could have a much better life in Nigeria. He would start all over again and find a local woman to marry as his family always wanted. Michael doesn't want to go back to Nigeria. He had always wanted to come to America, and that was why he contacted Angela on social media. Michael could have indeed planned this escape for a long time before he came to the U.S. It doesn't look like a spontaneous decision at all. Angela learned that Michael had family in the U.S. only after he relocated. He could have hidden many more such facts from Angela during their marriage, out of fear or cunningness. Michael didn't deserve the kind of abuse he had to face in the relationship. However, Michael stayed in the relationship for seven years, despite having multiple chances to leave. Perhaps dumping Angela and applying for a visa with another American woman after his K-1 was rejected, could have brought more trouble his way. So staying with the abusive woman was the 90 DS star's only option. Regardless, Michael and Angela's drama is far from over, even if there are rumors that she's no longer a part of the show. Michael is a hard worker, and he will ensure he gets to spend the rest of his life as a paradise man in the U.S.